What's up guys, my name is Brandon and just as predicted, Apple released iOS 11.0.2 today to the public exactly one week after releasing iOS 11.0.1 and six days after releasing iOS 11.1 beta 1 to registered developers. Now I say just as expected because if you're following me on Twitter, you saw that a couple hours before it actually got released, I said expect iOS 11.0.2 today. So if you're following me on Twitter, you got the early inside scoop, but if you're not, you're missing out. Make sure to go ahead and follow me over there. I'm just at Brandon Butch right there. Let's go ahead back to the update. So you can see here that iOS iOS 11.0.2 came in at 285.9 megabytes here on my iPhone 8, which was running iOS 11.0.1 before this. And surprisingly, Apple actually got specific with some of the bugs they fixed here in 11.0.2, which is pretty rare. Usually it's just something generic. It doesn't really tell you anything. Send you off to another page, the release notes, and that doesn't really tell you anything. You basically just have to figure it out by yourself. But Apple actually told us three specific things that have been fixed with this software version, which is nice. I hope they continue to do this for every future version of iOS, but I highly doubt that's going to happen. But anyways, let's go and check out the build number and then we'll talk about some of those bug fixes as well. So let's go to general about and you can see here the build number is 15A421. I always like to show that just to make sure you are on the correct build. A lot of people love seeing the build number. So let's talk about the bugs now that have been fixed in 11.0.2. So first of all, yes, the issue with the crackling sound while on phone calls for the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus has been fixed with 11.0.2. Now I actually never experienced this on 11.0.1 or even 11.1. So I haven't had this issue at all, but some people People, I guess a good amount of people have been impacted because I've seen quite a few people on Twitter tell me that they've been having this issue and they can't wait for it to be fixed. So that has been fixed. If you've been having that issue, definitely go ahead and update to 11.0.2 and let me know, just kind of confirm that it actually has been fixed. I'd really want to know. Leave a comment down below. So you can see here that Apple also said that iOS 11.0.2 addresses an issue that could cause some photos to become hidden. So this is something that I never experienced at all in 11 or 11.0.1. So I'm not really sure if that has been fixed or not. I can't test it since I never had the issue in the first place. But if you have, that has been fixed. And we also have an issue right here which fixes encrypted emails that would not open. So again, another issue that I never faced, but I did hear about this one as well. So the top one and the bottom one, I have heard about from people on Twitter. But aside from those three bug fixes, nothing that I can see has actually changed here in 11.0.2. I went through all of the menus and settings and through phone, through all the applications. I can't find anything new here in 11.0.2, but I'm sure there's a lot more backend bug fixes, some security enhancements, minor things like that. It wasn't a 300 megabyte update just for three bug fixes. I'm sure there's a lot of other things on the back end that we just can't see that Apple has fixed. As far as 3D touch stutter, it is still there. It's still present here in 11.0.2. There's just a slight stutter. Again, a lot of people, your casual user is not going to notice this, so it's not a big deal, but I like talking about it because a lot of people notice it as well and always leave the comments on my video. So yes, it is still present in 11.0.2. As far as the home button delay when closing applications, it is still there as well. You can see there's a slight delay when you close out of applications and go back to the home screen. That is also present in 11.0.2. So yeah, aside from those three bugs, there's not really anything at all you're going to notice new with 11.0.2. But if you do have an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, I definitely recommend you update to 11.0.2 to fix the crackling sound issue. I've heard it's extremely annoying, so I would definitely update to it even if you never experienced it. And if you're on iOS 11.1 beta 1, I would definitely downgrade to 11.0.2. If you haven't seen my rant video, my warning about 11.1 beta 1, make sure to check the cards because you definitely want to avoid that version. But anyways, guys, that is just a quick video on iOS 11.0.2. Again, not much has changed, just some bug fixes, just some refinements nothing really front facing that you're going to notice. But you guys know I love to keep you as updated as possible. Also, make sure to go ahead and follow me over on Twitter if you're not already, if you want to be more in the loop as well. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 11 coverage in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.